guys, now we're going to make this cute and easy butterfly. It's an advanced beginner design. So let's get started. What we're going to need for this is two of any color, two sixties, one five inch round white balloon, and I guess two more two sixties, whatever color you want the antennas. So I guess four two sixties, one and one five inch white. But you can do it with three two inch uh, or three two sixties, and I'll show you how. So what we're going to do is pick the color you want for the body and we're going to inflate it for this I'm going to use a I'll use a Caribbean blue one so I'm going to stretch that before I inflate it so it doesn't pop or less likely to pop pull the balloon down inflate it the whole way to the end holding it there and then I'm gonna let a little air out so mushy but not too mushy but it's easier to twist give it a, a tie tie the knot after you tie the knot you should be able to mush this down just a little bit in order to grab an end and then tie those together so we're just going to flip it through pull these up and tie that right together like this and for the body i'm gonna make four round bubbles so you're gonna separate it with your two thumbs bring it together right where you separated it and twisted it. it should be about the same size if you separate it with your thumbs and we're gonna do that again so looks kind of like a number eight or a toilet seat <laughs> Or a little clamshell and you're gonna flip this down close the lid and hold your thumbs in there separate it again and then you're going to push this together and see that side push it together and grab it with this side so it so this head stays right there and it's separated squeeze that in to pull the air up and then twist it so you have four bubbles just like a four petal flower right like this and then you're gonna take one for the wings and I'll use a pink one and you're basically gonna do the same thing inflate that the whole way it's fluffing my hair <laughs> let some air out so it's a little mushy and tie the end and then tie this end to this end So you have that tied together okay and what we want to do then is separate it with your thumbs these are the wings bring this together and leave go of the one that was holding the knot bring it together and right where you have this grab twist it around and flip one through so that doesn't come undone and it should be about the same size and then we're going to take this four petal flower and wrap this right around the middle. And I'm just going to kind of pull it over this way to separate it. Now what we want to do is take any of these two loops and we're going to pull part of this down through just like this. Just a little bit through. Not, not You want it to be longer on one side. So you... Only oh, pull a little movement down through one of the, it doesn't matter, one of the little loops, one of the blue loops, and then pull another little part of the pink one down through another blue loop. Now I have this mess here going on, but it's right. I'm going to pull these together because these are the wings. These are my little lobes. And one of these loops is the face, as you can see. So one loop's on the top between the wings. So all I'm going to do is just flip this up so that the face is here and those are the wings. And I'm going to kind of push my wings right like that. You can't leave it like this if you want, but I like to kind of hold this loop down here 
and kind of push this, squeeze it out to the side and maybe up a little to sh give some shape to the wing. So I'm going to hold it here on the other side and just bring it out to the side and kind of squeeze it like that to shape it. So I have this. And now we want to add eyes. So to add eyes, we're going to take a five inch white round one, inflate that so that it's going to fit in this circle. So I'm going to blow it up just to about, you know, I'm going to look at it and, and it's going to be about the size of a grapefruit. Maybe let a little puff of air out, but you do want a little bit bigger because you're going to squish it through the center to make the eyes. So tie that. And then one of these loops, either one that's remaining, that doesn't have the pink in it for the wings, but I'm going to go up here because the wings are up here, that, like the top part of the wing, so I'll put the eyes in this bubble so I don't have to flip it all around. Just pull this knot and stretch it like around. You don't even have to tie anything, just wrap it right around the middle and then tuck this five inch white one right in the center. Then I just squish it in there so half is coming out the other side, right like that. So this is what you have. And you can play around with this and you can even bring it out farther if you want on the sides, however you like it, like that. And then we're gonna make the little antennas that go on your butterfly. And to do that, I'm gonna use black ones I'll show you a different ways you can do it, okay? So you can put a little puff of air. It's <laughs> my hand. Okay, this is navy blue. Surprise, surprise, I thought it was black. Okay, so I put a little bubble, like a little cherry tomato sized bubble in there. And you can tie it. And then I like to cut this off above the knot. And then I'll do the same thing with this one. And make a little cherry tomato size bubble on that one. And then tie it and cut it off above the knot. And I have these. So I don't want it all this length. I'm just gonna take it down about like five fingers and then I'll tie these two together. And to do that, you just kind of, it has air in it, so just kind of wrap it around, pull these two through, take your fingers out and tug it. And tug it pretty good because you don't want the air to come out once you cut it. And then right up above that knot, you cut it. And it's okay if it has a little bubble and it won't hurt anything. And then under the eyes, you just take it under these, under the chin in the center and pull it up to the top. <laughs> that making static on my hair. And I'm just gonna bring it up to those, uh, right behind, tuck, you can tuck it in right behind the front of the eyes like that. So that's one way to make the antennas. And let's see. Another way to make the antennas is, take these off. I'll use red this time. What we're gonna do now is just put like a little bit of a longer, like a four inch bubble, or four finger bubble rather, which is about three inches in the balloon, tie it. And I do like to cut it off up above that knot, like that. And this is a little trickier. This is why I'm showing you different options. So if you use these antennas, you just want to use one balloon. Just hold it here, make a channel. So don't squeeze the air off, don't pinch it off. Just make a channel that's not squeezed off just for the balloon to slide through. S start squeezing this and then before you leave go, hold it. Because that air will go back into the other one. So squeeze it a little bit till there's half of that air out and then come right up under this bubble, hold it real tight, don't leave go, because it tends to go back down in there. Squeeze it again, and work it up to the top of the balloon. Pinch underneath, squeeze it to the top. Don't leave go yet. So you have this, hold this up next to this one, 
go down here. This is a little trickier. Pinch the air off so it doesn't come undone. And then you're going to pull this and tie it. Tie it. So pull this around and then tuck it back behind. And then tug it like that. So you have that and then you can tuck that up through and that's how you make it with one balloon. Another option you have is to not um, even put any puffs of air in it. You just use an uninflated balloon. But I do, I, I do like to put, I'll correct that, a little puff of air in, tie the end. You could chub it down a little bit so that's a little bit, has like a little bit of um, hold to it. And then I like to cut off above the knot again and then just take this. So you have this. And then you can tuck that up the same way under the neck and then tuck it in behind here. I just, I, I brought it up in the crack and I'm tucking it behind right like that. So that's another way you can do it. And let me get my Sharpie and show you how I draw the eyes on. You also, let me show you, you can draw, I'll do it on this one. See how I have this on? You could draw the antennas on like that. Like just make two long lines and draw the antennas on. So that's, I didn't put that on right because I was looking at the camera. But <laughs> you can draw the antennas on if you want to. But let me show you how I make the eyes. So you're just going to... I like to shove the nose back a little bit and just bring the eyes up so they're closer. It just helps a little bit to, to really bring the eyes out. I'm going to rest my hand on the balloon on one side and hold it and then just draw big ovals like this. And then once I have my oval drawn, I fill it in with a Sharpie. Remember, if your Sharpie is brand new, you want to smash the tip down a little bit so that it doesn't pop the blue because they do call it a Sharpie for a reason. <laughs> I've had the Sharpies pop my balloons many times. Do the same thing on this other side. And fill it in, draw a big oval, and then draw it in, right, like that. So two big ovals and just rest your hand on. And then I do what looks like comma as well. You can, like two circles, and then draw a little line down for eyebrows. And then I do the same thing, little commas facing in each opposite direction for the nose. And then I put little curves here for the cheeks. And then I just draw a V, the letter V down like that for the mouth. And then for the feet, I draw Vs or kind of like that and then little circles for the little feet see he has feet to land and this is my little butterfly i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit like and subscribe and i'll keep them coming thank you guys so much have a wonderful day